Welcome back to another episode guys. This one is going to be a little bit different because it is going to be pregnancy and baby related. We're officially 27 weeks pregnant today and this is going to be our first proper pregnancy vlog that I'm uploading. The one thing that I wish that I did when I was pregnant with Aria was film and vlog my experience a lot more and I didn't do that and I haven't done that in this pregnancy yet and it's already flying by. So I'm going to start doing a weekly vlog on this channel of my experience being pregnant this week, what I know to be expected is we do have a glucose and blood test. I want to book in like a 4D or 5D ultrasound, so I have to find wearing hands. I can do that. I need to start organizing this baby's room and things for this baby as well. I've literally done nothing yet. So I wanted to take you guys along with me. Let's get this day started. So this is baby's current room at the moment and you can see it is quite a mess. It's literally like our washing room, our dumping ground for certain things. We've got all these packages as well that's been sent to us from brands. So fingers crossed this is the week that we start making some progress on this room. I've been saying it every single week and just putting it off. So I'm hoping this week's going to be the week. Today isn't just a special day too because we are 27 weeks pregnant today, but it's also Luke and my anniversary as well. We've been together for eight years today. So we're gonna head out for breakfast now, which is one of my favorite things. So we're gonna head out for breakfast. Where are we going? I don't know, do you wanna go to coffee club or just Kent Central, I don't know. Yeah, we've gotta work that out. I'll be back. Where did you get it? What do you think it is? <gasps> what is it? <laughs> Does anyone remember these from when they were kids? Here you go. So we decided on the coffee club in the end. So it's currently like 10.30 in the morning and I'm stuck. Do I get breakfast? Do I get lunch? Like we can go like a club sandwich or we can go a big breakfast. Yeah, I don't know. What are you going to get? I don't know. I have no idea. Breakfast or lunch? Maybe a... I don't know, I was gonna say chicken burger, but I had KFC last night. What have you got? You try some. <laughs> Good. So we ended up getting these flat grills. So we got like a barbecue beef and bacon, a chicken and camembert, some chips to share, and Aria got bacon and eggs. Yummy. Is it good? <laughs> Use your fork, monkey. Good. And typical Luke, we're all done. And he's just making sure that nothing goes to waste. Making okay. making Rocco proud. <laughs> it's actually crazy because Luke just noticed. So like the guy sitting behind Luke has the Cairns post. And we actually haven't even told you guys yet, but we were in the Cairns post, we were on page three. And so Luke walked up to the table and saw us like in the newspaper. It's weird seeing someone else reading it. We're on our way home now, and I don't know if anyone else does this after eating out, but I am always down for a nap once I've had a good meal. Are you tired? Yeah, a bit flat now. It's like 11.40 and now I feel like going for a nap. Today is the day that we're officially going to start on this baby's bedroom. What I'm going to be doing is just cleaning out the whole room, packing anything up that needs to be packed up, selling anything that we can possibly sell from there too. Like we have Aria's old cot here, which I was going to use for this baby, but now with these travel plans and caravanning plans, I'm not gonna need that. All of this can be packed up. This is all going to my mum's and all the washing can come out of there too. And just give it a really good deep clean, steam clean those carpets as well and really get into it. And Luke's off fishing this morning. Where are you going, babe? Just in camp, we're gonna try to get some mud crabs. He wants to try get some mud crabs today. Fingers crossed that it works out. We had a huge amount of rain yesterday that it actually like woke Luke up yesterday. So it was about two, three o'clock and Luke woke me up to tell me how bad the rain was. And it was, it was like 36 or 38 mil that we got in like an hour last night. Yeah, it was crazy rain. Our pool went from needing to be filled up today to now it's almost above the skimmer box again, which is good. So Luke's going out, trying to get some mud crabs and hopefully by the time he's home, that room will be clear and empty and then we can start setting up the baby. You excited? Yep. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I've literally like just gotten into this room and I'm looking around and I'm like, I don't know where to start. Where do we start? Oh, you reckon we set up the cot? Oh, okay. I don't know where to start, but we've got to get started somewhere, don't we? I think we just start by emptying. Where's he going?
mud crab. Say bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. We are three hours in, and that's all that I've accomplished. Basically, all I've got to do now is I've started like moving all the baby stuff outside the room and just putting it out here for now. Cause I'm like, I don't know where else to put it. I'm just gonna make another mess in another room. And Ari has gotten to the stage in cleaning and organizing that she's starting to get annoyed with me now, aren't you? She's starting to get like super annoyed. I don't know if anyone else's kids do it, but like they give you a couple of hours and then they start just getting a bit edgy. Um, so Aria wants to go to Kmart, is that right? What are we getting at Kmart? Magna's got $50 for you. My mum did tell her this morning on the phone that she's like to give her $50 from my mum and she can go to Kmart with it. So she's definitely not forgotten that she's getting $50. So hopefully I can get this room done quick so then we can go down to Kmart. Hey, good? And get all the toys you need, yeah. And what do you think, Rock? Is this stressful? We did it! It is officially empty. Now I get to do my favorite bit. I get to pull out my steam cleaner. And if you guys don't know, one thing about me is I love steam cleaning. There's something like super satisfying to me about steam cleaning and I'll show you why. This is my steam cleaner and it's my newest one. I've gone through quite a few. I absolutely love steam cleaners, like I said. So I got the Bissell and I'm probably saying that wrong, but it's the Pro Heat 2 Revolution Max. And I've had this one for about a year and honestly, it is incredible. So pretty much how it works, if you've got your clean water bucket, move out of the way, bubs. <laughs> you got your clean water bucket up the top and then it sucks the dirty water into this bottom section here. You've got like three different modes on it too. So it's got like an express clean, a deep clean and a max clean. Um, so for me, I like to steam clean twice. So I'm gonna go through with a deep clean and then I'll go through with a max clean and then I'll just keep running over to pick up any excess waters. These two are the main reason why I have a steam cleaner, but also cause too, once I started steam cleaning, I actually noticed how much dirt and grime gets into carpet. But this is the carpet beforehand so that you've got a bit of a thing. There's like stains from old tenants and stuff in here too, which is a bit yuck. All right, so we need to get another bucket, but I've just managed to do just this strip here, which is the back strip. You can see there's like chunks of dust and dog hair. And that's the color of the water just from that one strip. So I'm definitely gonna be going over that again. That's the second dump bucket from this room. So this room is now done. We've just got to wait for it to dry. You can see like it pulls out like chunks of dust and hair. So basically what I do now is I wait for this to completely dry and then I'll go over and give it a good vac. You can't go in there now, Ari, okay? We're gonna have a quick break. Where are we going? Woohoo! Cheeseburger Happy Meal and I got a Big Mac. There's nothing like McDonald's. So this is Ari's Happy Meal toy and I completely get it. Like being recyclable, like used paper, less environmental damage, I get it. But at the same time, like, does anyone else remember like when you were kids and you used to get like a Happy Meal toy and it was the best toy ever? These are just, yeah, not that great, are they? I don't like these. <laughs> so Ari and I just got back from shopping. Show them what you got. Oh, Spider-Man. And what else did you get? <gasps> Bluey. And I ended up getting myself the GoPro 9, so I'm very excited to charge this up. And at least tomorrow when we're filming, we will be filming on this. So let me know if you see a difference in the video, like, and the quality of the video as well. But I've just gotten home and I said to Luke, like, I need him to organize Ari's dinner because I'm actually getting, like, Braxton Hicks already. Like, I don't know if turning seven weeks is too early to get Braxton Hicks. Um, but I'm getting them quite like regularly. Like when I've been on my feet all day, I seem to get like Braxton Hicks feeling cramps at night. So I don't know if it's Braxton Hicks or if it's just my body telling me that I need to rest. And then tomorrow we can start putting all those boxes back into the room and hopefully like unboxing some of the stuff as well and setting up baby's room. Good morning, we are back today. This room is officially clean. As you guys can see, I did put the stuff in here already. 
I'm going to start unboxing some of the stuff today and putting it together and having a look to see what I got. So the first thing that I'm wanting to put together is the bassinet and the swing. So I got the four mums bassinet and it looks like that and it does like all these different motions and stuff which is pretty cool. And then I got the four mums mamaroo swing as well. So plan of attack today is to try and unbox. If I can unbox everything, I will be so happy. But we'll just start and try and unbox as much as I can. I do have to film all these unboxings for TikTok um, because most of these boxes were actually gifted to us on TikTok, which is amazing. I've been able to connect with so many like brands on TikTok and stuff. So it's been really great in that sense. And I get to showcase their items and showcase the brand as well. So it's gonna be very exciting today to set this all up. We'll see how we go. Fingers crossed I get most of it done. And I guess the real thing too is last night, obviously I told you guys yesterday, I was getting Braxton Hicks yesterday. Once I relaxed and rested at night time, they completely went away. So I don't know if it's Braxton Hicks or if it's just my body, like, like I said, trying to get me to slow down a bit. Um, but it kind of did scare me a little bit because while we were walking around in Kmart, and having like that feeling of tightening and my belly tightening and that sort of pain, I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm actually pretty pregnant. Like I'm not just like a little bit pregnant anymore. So the nesting mode has kicked in and my anxiety's kicked in and now I'm like, okay, we've got to get ready for baby so that if this baby decides to come at any time, we're good to go. Like I don't even have a car seat yet. So we're going to get our bums into gear and start organizing, don't we? Are you ready? Are you ready for today? Whoa, 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 whoa. Day two of Luke going out for mud crabs today too. He went out yesterday, put the pots out yesterday. So fingers crossed when Luke gets home today, we got some good news. Hey, Mike, would you eat it tonight? Yeah, I'd eat it tonight. Yeah? Yeah, for sure. Crabs, it was a bit of a tricky day for Luke yesterday. He hasn't had the greatest start to this trip. The first bit was he went to Lucinda, got to Lucinda, was meant to stay on Lucinda Pier for 24 hours overnight. And it ended up like torrential rain and wind, so he had to come home. He drove like 600 kilometers on Friday. Then yesterday went out for mud crabs, was loving it, and then had drone issues, and then the GoPro overheated and had issues as well. So the phone overheated. Fingers crossed, third day lucky. Flying, I was flying my drone, and then the battery was running out, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna bring it back, and then it said my phone had the temperature sign. That's how hot <laughs> it was yesterday. Like that's scary. I'm actually so excited to see this bassinet and yes. see all the features that it does. Oh. Alright, so it looks like... <laughs> You're so funny. Love you too, good luck. Alright, we got the legs on the bassinet now. So I'll pick this up. Oh, it's actually really high too, which is good. Talk about unlucky, so I just talked about Luke. He just left, and look at the rain. Like, it is pouring. No, my daddy. Your daddy. So we've just finished putting this bassinet together, and it actually looks incredible. I think that I'm gonna be able to take this, like, caravanning or traveling with us as well, because the legs actually detach, which would be great just to put on any even a tabletop. But check this out. You can turn it on. It's got like five movements in it and they do all different speeds and then it's got inbuilt sounds as well so that it'll help settle baby throughout the night. Like look at that. This would have been an absolute lifesaver with Aria. But once baby's here I'll give you like full reviews on these as well and tell you if I thought that they were great and they helped or if it was just like a really cool gadget thing to have so to say. So now comes the fun part which is going to be setting up the swing. So there is like so many instructions but fingers crossed I can put this together. I think that's one of the easiest things that I've ever put together and I'm loving it too. So it's got the screen as well with the five different movements just like the bassinet and it's got the inbuilt sounds on it too. I remember with Aria, I loved having the swing and she used to have so many naps and just like chill out in the swing so much. So I'm looking forward to really trying this one out. Bassinet is done, swing is done. Now I'm gonna move on to the nursery chair. And to me, honestly, this is one of the most important things in a nursery. And that's my personal opinion. 
but I just know how many hours you spend in this nursery, especially if you're breastfeeding, even if you're bottle feeding, you're in the nursery, you're trying to get this little one to sleep, you're trying to settle them, you're trying to feed them, or they're up at two o'clock in the morning because they're teething or so on and so forth. That The one thing that I didn't do with Aria was I had a nursery chair, but it wasn't that great. It wasn't that comfortable. This one is from Il, Il Tuto. Um, Il Tuto or Il Tuto, one of the two. This one looks amazing. So I'm really looking forward to putting this together. I'm gonna put it together now and then I'll show you what it's all about. The rocking chair is together and I'm in love with it. Look how good that is. It like glides. It rocks as well, it reclines, and it's got a USB charger on the side. I just found the crochet rug that I used to have in Aria's nursery. And I actually used to lie her down on this rug and like take her monthly photos on this when she was a baby. So I think this is really special to have in this room. And I got like just a little side table and lamp in here as well. So I'll give you a squeeze now. Look at that. We are starting to actually look like a nursery now. So I'm gonna do some unboxing videos now for TikTok. Um, and I'll show you guys along the way what I'm unboxing too. But this room's actually starting to feel really nice. And it's starting to feel like a baby room. As I say, while well, this baby's kicking. <laughs> so yeah, it's exciting to see this. So Liv just got home and he ended up not catching any mud crabs, which was a bit of a bummer. But he ended up catching two mangrove jacks. So we're gonna cook those up tomorrow for lunch. But for dinner tonight, I am making like lamb chop pasta. So this is like number one in our house. It's one thing that the three of us absolutely love. So basically like all you do is you fry up some chops like this and then I'll show you the pasta sauce when I'm making it. And you put like peas, corns and carrot in it. Um, and we absolutely, like we all love it, which is good. So tonight it's raining, have a nice full pasta and feel nice and warm in the tummy. And as for baby's room, I've stopped baby's room for now. And that's just because I've just been getting like those cramps again. So I'm gonna stop baby's room for now. Just focus on getting dinner organized and then at least, yeah, just eat, shower and relax, which will be good. But I should get back into that probably Tuesday now. I got a crack in my head. You got a crab in your head? What's like touch him off? Yeah. Oh, he's little. It went on your thumb. <laughs> Alright, so pretty much what you want to do is garlic salt. A bit of pepper. I use the like Italian crushed can of tomatoes with the basil and oregano in it. Two cans of that. And some posada. Then in the sauce, garlic powder, Italian herbs. Usually I put red wine in like before obviously the sauce, but yeah, I don't have any red wine, I forgot it. So, <laughs> oregano. The secret ingredient is always like a little bit of curry powder, not too much, just a little bit. And I like to put three beef stock cubes in there as well. You just wanna like put a lid on the top and leave it for as long as you possibly can. Sometimes I'll put this like on in the morning and I'll leave it all day long so that the lamb gets like really tender. Um, but it just depends on how much time. Like now it's 4.30, so we'll probably only leave it till like 5.30, which won't be as tender, but it's still yummy. And that's it. I'll see you at dinner time. What have you got? I've got a gecko. Thank you, Cody. What are you gonna name me? Wait, wait, I should go. Go. <laughs> what are you gonna name me? Gecko. <laughs> Update on dinner. The pasta's almost ready now. It's got like a minute to two left. Then this sauce. That's how it's looking now. And the meat's actually quite tender for only cooking for an hour, so I'm pretty happy with that. Garlic bread ready to go as well. So I've got someone sitting at the table already saying, eat, 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 eat. So I've got Aria's pasta and her lamb shank. That is Luke's and that is mine. Bon appetit and I'll see you tomorrow. So that is the end of this week's vlog, guys. And I wanted to quickly say thank you so much for watching this video and supporting it. Make sure that you give it a like. There was a lot of content that I didn't get to share with you guys from this week. And that's because one of our GoPros actually became faulty and all the files that we'd filmed on that day had become corrupted, which we I was spewing about. But 
We've got the GoPro issues fixed now, so that won't be happening next week. I feel really accomplished this week that the nursery is finally now starting to look like a nursery. It's such an amazing and exciting feeling to know that we're going to meet this baby in the next 12 weeks and I'm starting to see this baby's room come together. I cannot wait now to complete this and to meet this little one as well. Obviously this week there was things that we didn't get done um, like the glucose test and like booking in the 5D ultrasound. So I need to do that next week. That is like a high importance thing next week and finish putting this nursery together as well. My mum's coming up here next week too. So hopefully like mum can give me a hand with the things that I'm forgetting that I need to have with a baby, which will be great and we can go shopping. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys next week on the next weekly vlog. I appreciate you all again and thank you so much again. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe and let me know your favorite bit about this video. See ya.